What up, mates? It's Omega Dragon. Welcome to the finale of Kirby's Return. The episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. That's my next LP. Yes, that's a spoiler, and I'm sorry, but I had to say it at some point. So, what up, mates? Welcome back for some more Kirby's Epic Yarn. This is the final episode for a while. My next episode of this is just going to go over the bosses I like and the bosses I dislike and put them all in order from least favorite to most favorite. And I made a challenge to myself that if I take any damage against those bosses, except for one I have zero beads, I will start the whole thing over for the boss. Not for the not for the bosses, but when I when I take any damage against, for example, Meta Knight, and that would be in, in the middle, I'll start over from Meta Knight and not from the very beginning. Because if I did that, then the video would be a live stream. That video would be a live stream, it's worth of the time. It would probably get old quick. So, instead, I'm going to be making a challenge to myself to not take any damage against any boss, but, I, but my only exception is that my most favorite bosses, the only boss I would accept damage from is Hot Wing. And that's it. Even though I won't take any damage against Hot Wing, so otherwise there's no exceptions. I would have to not take any damage. And I'm make, also making King Deity the longer. I'm doing the longer version of King Deity and not the speedy version. So, of course. Now I go over what we did last time and what we're going to do this time. Last time, we handled Mera and her races. And a few of her stages were 5 stars right off the bat and then turned back into 4 stars and then the last stage was a four, was a 5 star I think. Or no, it was a 4 star, it was sort of dumb. And in this part, we are doing the final friend, which is Beatrix, which I call Beatrix, because she, or he, is really a he, is my favorite to go over. You have to collect a certain amount of beads in a certain amount of time. I think this one is actually not really good. It's a two star. I actually don't really like this one right off the bat. Because you have to deal with those bad guys. Or no, that's a different stage. It, those bad guys from before. I said bag guys, and not bad guys. So you have to be really careful. Darn it. And of course if you get hit, I think at all, you lose half of your beads or, or all of them. Very sure it was all of them though. But that mummy that you saw with the green eye is that bag guy. Yeah, we did. So that was normally the racing part of the Sandy stage. So, most of these stages are going to be like micro versions of the actual stage, of course. But some would start from the beginning, some would, some would actually start at the very end, and some would start at the, mi at the mini version where, you, where it's not even anything. Big Bean Vine is next, and I think I know what this is. I would remember some of these things, but I would... Yeah, I start from the beginning. I remember this slightly. Those exclamation point things are no, not normally there. Yeah, I gotta collect all of them. I know for sure. Nice. 
not even worth a single sort of word. There we go. In total, there's actually like 300 beads that you can collect here. I would also I would also say with my closest guess how many beads are in each stage. So this so this might be the most commentary you would ever hear of me, but I would I wouldn't talk that much, focusing on the beads because these bonus parts have been pretty boring since all I've been doing were was focusing on the stuff. Oh. Is this it? Is this the part? Yep. This was the part that I hated. You have to pound every one of you guys. Really? But, but as soon as it sees you from a certain distance, it will run and hide. And that will make you fail. There's only three of these guys, I think. Or there's four. So I have to make sure they don't see you. Darn it! And you have to make sure you don't touch them. Because that will happen. It will know that you're near it. And it will run and hide. This is gonna take me a while. How are you supposed to not let him look at you? It is impossible. That's the only guy I don't like dealing with. There we go. Now this one I have to be very careful with. There we go. In total that would be 300. That was sort of stressful on my part. So if there's any editing, which would be after a half an hour, then I would, then I would do it on that part of the stage because that shouldn't even be a two star. And you have to basically be patient because if you go right off the bat, those guys will see you. Blub blub ocean, like 200 beats in two in 20 seconds. I'm gonna do two minutes. Dolphin. That's pretty iconic. In actuality, how many beats there are is like 225. There's a brand new beat collecting stage. Blue Star. I will go over this game after I've done all of the Beatrix's stage. Deep dive deep. I don't remember this one to be play honest. I think I sorta of dislike this one. I remember this one. There, oh, it, it shows you 
I remembered this one now that if you go along the green beads, that will give you 200. If you go along the red beads, you will basically lose if you do that. Because all of them are just 1. But the green ones are 5 and 10. There you go. Collected all of the bees. In actuality, there would be 210. Raindrops. Lava landing collects 160 beads in a half a minute. Let's see if I remember this one. And I think that was a three star. Oh. You have to be careful with these things. Beads, and in actuality, there's 175. But if I'm correct on that, then you can tell me in the comments. But I think I'm right on that. It's, like, it's either 175 or 170. Fireball. Fireball. Mount Slide. It's like the 100 beads in a half a minute. Oh, right. Are you here? Are you actually kidding me? I swear I collected that right at the second. I remembered why I hated this stage. I was I was like, did I hate this stage, or am I just thinking? Am I just overthinking it? I hated this one, and I now what? Now know, and I now know why. I would have gotten it, I swear. I'm gonna leave my commentary on for the rest of this. Finally, I thought my commentary was off. That's what happens when I... That's what happens when I think that I turn, turn off my commentary, and when I turn off my commentary so many times, I then when my commentary is actually on, think it's off. And I keep it off, and I think that, and I always think that's on. Finally, I got that stage cleared. Iceberg. Stellar way. Oh, another favorite. when I actually fall off the cliff.
Yeah, I did it. I collected all of the beads. I did it. And now there's a new one. I'm waiting for Cozy Cabin, and I'm not turning off my commentary for that, but Cozy Cabin is both my favorite and, and one of the hardest bead collecting stages out there. Let me guess, this is the stellar one. Milky Way, there's no such thing as a stellar fabric, apparently. I wish there was, but there is a Dino Jungle. Collect 250 beads in, I think, 25 seconds, it said. Or did it say 35? 25. I remembered this one. I have to be very careful. Of course. Does that guy see me from above? When I pound the this guy first. Does he actually see me? Because if he does, then that's dumb. Okay, no, he doesn't. So each of these, each of those bad guys, I don't even know their names. If I did, then I would, then I would say their actual names. Each of these guys carries a hundred beads. How did he see me? How did he actually see me? I forgot you don't swim in this one. How? How are you supposed to collect 300 beads? 250 beads in there? You would have to risk them seeing you. Did it. So in total, if you would have been able to collect them, you would get 300 beads because you, because each of those guys carries 100 beads. That was sort of dumb. I remembered that exactly. The only stages I hate with the bead collecting are when you have to beat those things, whatever they are. I call them bag guys. Mushroom Run. If I'm remembering this correctly, this has. No, Beedrex has 18 challenges for you. Let's see if I remembered this one. Prince Fluff. I sort of remember this. And in actuality, how many beads there are is like 275. No, there's actually 250 beads in total. I remembered Cozy Cabin has a bunch, has like, I don't remember how many in total. I would remember from. How many I have to collect? Fountain Gardens. Oh, and this is a four star. Collect 200 beads in 20 seconds. Let me guess. Another freaking bad guy thing. No. Oh! It's a. It's basically you have to turn into a car and get every single one of them. My word. You can tell you can tell how that's a four star for sure. That is for sure a four star. If you don't turn into a car in time for as well, that would be ridiculous to master. I completely forgot about why this was considered a four star and then I remembered you have to follow the beats exactly. I think I only failed that like three times as a kid. And I was like so stressed out. Wispy's Force, go like 250 beats in 30 seconds. I don't remember this one. I hope this wasn't the bag guys. I'm very sure it wasn't. I think I already dealt with those guys. No, it wasn't. It was the barrel cannons.
Really? There we go. There's a new bead collecting stage to open up. Yay. Green dot. There it is. Collect 580 beads in, one in 50 seconds. How many there actually are, which is ridiculous. You have to collect 580 beads, 680 beads, and there's actually 750. But it makes it screen lag as well, which is sort of infuriating. Honestly, you have a really, a really good part of the game. Got him. I actually got them all. No, it wasn't 750, it was 700. That was nuts. I didn't expect to get the, get those many already. So the next thing you basically need to worry about is the Halberd. The Halberd is five stars. And I think it's the final stage of over all of them. I sort of wish still that these friends would actually let you battle bosses. Okay, future city. So I think there is actually like 18 to do. Because I know that Halberd is one of them. Yep, this was the one that I liked. Because you have to almost collect all of them. Unless I'm wrong and you actually do have to collect all of them. But you spawn right at the beginning. Well, not right at the beginning, but right at the beginning of right. the He set this up pretty well. Come on. There we go. And how many actual beads there are, I think, were 350. There's a new bead collecting stage. Chain link. Now, what is this the thing I'm remembering? Nope, mole hole. This one you don't have to worry about turning into a mole unless I'm wrong. I'm wrong. <coughs> And you have to follow these beads exactly. I failed. No, I didn't. I got them all. I'm actually surprised by that. I thought I actually failed that.
and in total that was like 270 something or 260 something we got this one stone wall you already know what kind of wallpaper I want to put on there evergreen left you would know that this is going to suck and they change it right back to a four star Basically, I have to keep this going as well. How the heck did I get that many bees? I thought I was gonna fail that, to be rightfully honest, but since I failed to get that last treasure a bunch of times and never being left, but I managed to do it. Alright, so what's next? I'm guessing Mount Moon. Not Mount Moon, that's Pokemon. Moon Base. And then after that is the Halberd. Moon base, like I thought, and you don't turn into a tank in this one unless I'm wrong. And forget it, I'm turning off my commentary because the theme Because this theme is actually pretty good, sorry. If you get hit at all, then you're screwed. Nice. I was carefully timing my dodges and it worked. It was so worth it. That was so fun. Now let me guess. This one is a halberd and I'm going to fail this a bunch of times. If not, then it's Tempest Towers and then it's going to be the halberd. And I know it's not going to be Castle Deity because that was only for the race. Unless it is Castle Deity, then I'm going to freak out. Nope, it's a halberd, and that's last. Like 1200 beads in a minute and 20 seconds. I'm turning off my commentary, screw it. Yep, this is gonna be a while. It, it's a fast auto-scrolling stage. It's like three times faster than before.
Darn it! You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, this is gonna... I remembered I was so upset with this stage. No! You gotta be kidding me! I was 1150 freaking gems! This is gonna take me forever. If I remembered correctly, this took me three hours as a kid. No! What? Are you kidding me? 1172, the closest I've ever gotten. It pains me every time. That's impossible. How do you avoid taking any hits there? Just explain that. I finally did it though. I finally collected 1200 beats. There's no way there's a new stage. Oh, come on! I hate this. I hate you now, I completely forgot how much I hated Beatrix now. That was a dumb stage. Oh, and this one's my favorite. I completely forgot how the rings existed for b -Rex. And this one is my favorite. It turns from least favorite to most favorite. Look how, look at how easy that was. That was way, 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 way easier than the halberd. In my freaking opinion, and that's finally it. I thought there was 18 for Beedrix, but there was 20. That was annoying. I completely forgot how the rings was a stage for Beedrix. Ringed planet fabric. And I also remembered how hard that was. Because normally you fight against space crack out there. So now we get to do we get to complete the rest of the game by going through the shop. Furniture shop. Host. Display. Star bed. Elegant sofa. Scarfy. Brown silver. Table and wardrobe. Fruit ball. Sandwich. Refrigerator. TV stand. Xylophone, picnic basket, coloring set, and seat cushion. 
There's still more. Wall mirror, large dresser, rug, microphone. That's a, that's a familiar ability, isn't it? Bottle do. Pocket plant. I'm gonna turn my volume down a bit more. Small dresser and a bottle beard. Turkey. Small mirror. Electric guitar. Plasma TV. Sofa. Wall clock. Elegant bed. Counter table. I think there's two more ways of shop. Then vanity. Trumpet. Neck on knife. Lamp. Cushion. Guitar. Flower with a bouquet base. And a rotary phone. Okay, there's not two more ways. Tube TV. Fox. Cake. King DVD. Flower base. Bummer. Coffee. And train. One more. Diamond rug. That job you completed. Stop! Now fabric. And that's the last thing that we need. Uncum. White felt. Brown felt. Pink argyle. White blue felt. That beige. Quilted. Pistachio. Vanilla mint. And blackberry. Blueberry. Pink border. Aqua quilted. Cow print. Beige. Lime felt. Pink stripes. And yellow stripes. Purple stripes, flower dot, red felt, yellow tile, brown cotton, lavender, zebra print, print, that's pretty good, checkerboard, even better. Light blue stripes, black star, yellow felt, tiger print, lime cotton, blue cotton, white cotton, and country red. I think there's two more ways of fabric. Red cotton, gold star, giraffe print, yellow cotton, blue, with the sky blue, black cotton, green cotton, and green border. Let's see if I was right. Yep, pink pigment. That's it. But how am I not completing the fabrics? I swear. That should be everything. Unless I'm forgetting one. Yeah, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting fabric. Is there something I missed? I always forget about these fabrics and I have no idea how to get them. And you don't get them from shop and you don't get them from these guys because I already completed all of these guys. Unless I somehow didn't. I've completed you. Yeah, I have to have completed every one of these guys. So how do I get the rest of the fabrics? I might have to look that up. Okay, so I figured it out. In order for in order for you to get this the so called secret fabric, you have to decorate your room. Which I've already done. Oh no, my battery's low. <laughs> it actually tells you for a really long time that your battery's low. And it doesn't stop. So, for decorating my room, what I am going to do is I'm going to be decorating. What I'm basically decorating is, for one thing, I'm going to do. I'm actually going to cut to show you guys my result because I ha I have an idea for what to do. Alright, so here is my completed thing. This is what I was going for. I I was going for something from Puka. <laughs> from the show called Puka. So basically, what this is supposed to be is... It's basically supposed to be from Puka because this is basically supposed to be Garu's bedroom, but with some upgraded enhancements. The bell's hanging is basically just like a joyful thing to remember. So now I need to play any level that I would need to play. I need to play every one of these levels. So. Now I am going to do my favorite levels. And my fa and one of my favorite levels is in Dreamland. 
And then I'm also going to play Mount Snow. And forget it, I'm playing- I'm going to battle against Yin Yang because I actually really love that boss, but I'm going to cut until I reach my pad again. I finally, I'm finally back, but I was trying to battle Yin Yarn and it ended up being my least favorite thing to do, so I just went to Castle DDD instead. So now I need to go to Kirby's Pad, and and I get to see whoever I see, whoever said that they needed to come to play. I would then just go here, and they would show up. No, if you excuse me, I gotta go work out my thread count muscles. Oh man, whoa, no really, I mean, this is just really, really, I like it, bro. Oh man, I can't believe I almost forgot. I forgot my he head if it wasn't stitched on. I got something here that I thought you might dig. You want this? You get a fabric of your friend. Buster is the first one, and Buster was my second least favorite. So they show up in your room, basically. And now I'm going to battle Yin Yarn again and see if I actually do don't take damage, because it afterwards I'm going to battle Meta Knight again. Do, 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 do. I'm not putting out ev I'm not going to do every fail.
So I beat Yin Yarn, but I took, I took so many hits against the Mecha one. I was trying to do, I was trying to impress you guys by shooting him at the fastest, but I couldn't replicate it, and I have no idea how I did it before, because I shot him like, do 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 Hi, sorry if I'm interrupting. Do you want to go out and play Kirby? What a lovely room you have here. Wow, I really like it. It's nice. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought a present for you, Kirby. Hope you like it. It's a reward for all of your hard work. And all of your fun play, too. Beatrix. Although her name is Beatrix, but I call her Beatrix. Because it's a cool name. Forget about it, I'm doing Mount Slide. is the next person, person <laughs> next character that we would be able to see. I'm here to play, Kirby. You have any spare time to have fun? I really dig this room, by the way. You really put your own touch on it. Oh, by the way, man, I almost forgot. Here's a little something for you. Eh, don't worry, you're gonna love it. It's super cool and Zeke approved. Carrie, the cute little girl, is next. So that means Mara is last. Hello, Kirby. How quaint. Well, I must say you've done quite a nice little job with the place here. I have a present for you today. It's crazy cute. You're gonna love it. It's so cute because every single time Carrie comes, Buster comes with, and that makes me think that Carrie and Buster are actually a couple, and that, and that's why I thought it was so cute was because of that. They're either a couple or their brother and sister, but most likely I think that that's Carrie's girlfriend or something. Might be a sister, but I don't exactly know. I, I've as a kid I always felt like that was just a couple and not and not and they were siblings because they live. They live in separate apartments from each other, so that made me think that they were just a couple. That's just how I felt. You found the carry fabric, and Buster doesn't talk to you.
pigeon. That hot winged girl is a pigeon. The rat with wings. So, after this, we have 100% completed the game. Oh, and they must be siblings. Maybe. Hi there, I'm here to play. You ready? Just look at this. What a fashionable room. Just my style. I can totally live here. Oh, that's right. I brought you a present, and I almost kept it for myself, but here. And if you don't want it, just let me know and I'll take it. No problem. For ones who love for races, you can stick that to your wall. Nice job, you completed Fry Break. Nice job, you 100%ed the game. <laughs> Must be siblings. Says the guy that thought Barry and Car Harry would. Not Barry and Carrie. You, you would see how I think they're siblings. Buster and Carrie. So that's it. We have 100% completed the game. Now I'm going to tell you guys my honest opinion about this game before listening to any of these tunes. So, about this game is that I really enjoyed it. Despite the fact that not a lot of people really like this game that much because the event because you don't lose lives, you just lose beats when you get hit, which is the most annoying part of the game. I wish that they would have done something different about that. They would that they would have done a health bar instead. And if you lose if you lose just your extra life, you would get a game over. They never gotten the game over in this game. That's the only thing I hated about this game. But the rest of it is really fun. The music and the adventure. And sl the slight adventure, and I'm going to speedrun this game this in this upcoming weekend for you guys, meaning next week for me. Maybe it's maybe not this upcoming weekend for you guys, but it is definitely going to be the next upcoming week for you, for me, or no, for you guys. It's going to be the next upcoming week for. Or maybe I already did it, and it was next week for me, and for you guys it would have been this week. But, the main deal is, in case you guys have not heard or that I didn't do it, the main rule is, I, I play through the game until I beat Yin Yarn, and that's it. And, I don't know if there were many skips, if there are any skips yet. But, I know that for my first time playing, I'm going to probably get like two and a half hours. But I know I can get like two hours easily. If, after the first run. Because, this game is pretty quick and pretty short. So, otherwise, I've already, I've already reflected off of most of the game, saying that some of the bosses are actually fun to battle. And... Some of the friends that we played with had some of my favorite stages that were the harder versions, but I managed to do it in one try. Beedrix was sort of annoying with some of the stages, but the but most of the stages ended up being really really fun and memorable. So for the end of this video, I am going to play some music that you guys can skip. I'm going to be playing five themes for two minutes each. And if you guys don't want to hear any of that, then you can skip this finale and skip to the next video, which would be in the next while. The next time I'm going to be rec recording this game is after Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which is my next LP. Because then I'll be doing bonuses for Kirby's Epic Yarn, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and a Kirby game... Kirby Dreamland 3 or Kirby 64 or both even though if I did both then I would have to try to not collect anything for Kirby Dreamland 3 in order for me to get to one of my favorite bosses like from least favorite to most favorite 
because otherwise that would be that would just make things complicated to cut to my least favorite to from my least favorite to my most favorite bosses. But for Kirby's Epic Yarn, it would be simple. But of course, my bet still stands that if I take any hits, I'll restart unless I just can't tolerate it anymore. And I accept taking hits. And I'll show all of my fails with my commentary on. Otherwise, I've already reflected off of pretty much all of the game. We've 100% completed the game, so there's no point in playing this game again. And can I say, can I add, I mean, I'm glad that I don't have to play this game again. I was hoping that I would LP this game sooner, but because of my Elgato being rubbish, because actually, I LP'd this game on Elgato, but it didn't work. Thankfully, this is the final game I've LP'd with my Elgato game capture. With my broken Elgato game capture, and after, and after this, I basically have all of the LP, all of the other LPs, even the Wii games, are basically games I have not played as LPs on any capture system, neither my full. So, the next time I play this game, I'm battling the bosses from least favorite to most favorite. And the next up, and I'll see you guys on my next LP, which for me I'm not going to be uploading, recording for another two or three weeks, because I'm going to take a break from recording a Kirby game and probably do some texting stories instead. Me. But I'll let you guys listen to the five music that I love. And if you guys don't want to hear it, then you can then you can skip the rest of this video because it's going to be 10 minutes. So, I'll see you guys next time on my next LP, which is in a while. I'm also going to be uploading some Super Mario Odyssey videos. Bye.